Are you searching for a powerful, cost-effective alternative to expensive ERP solutions like SAP, Salesforce, Zoho, and Tally? Look no further than ERP Next, a free and open source software that is transforming the way businesses manage their operations. Whether you're in manufacturing, services, or sales, ERP Next provides a comprehensive suite of tools designed to streamline processes, boost productivity, and significantly reduce software costs. From managing inventory and finances to handling customer relationships and human resources, ERP Next covers it all, making it the ideal solution for organizations of any size or industry. ERP Next is built on a low-code, open-source web framework in Python and JavaScript, making it a future-ready solution for the 21st century. Today, we'll walk through the installation of ERP Next on our Docker server and explore how it works. ERP Next offers incredible flexibility, allowing you to customize the software according to your organization's specific needs. It comes with modules for accounting, order and sales management, CRM, projects, HR and payroll, help desk, asset management, website creation, and many more. Trusted by over 10,000 companies worldwide, ERP Next also integrates seamlessly with popular apps like Google, Dropbox, Slack, Razor Pay, and others. While ERP Next is completely free for on-premises installation, a cloud-hosted version is available for those who prefer managed services at a competitive cost. You can manually install ERP Next using the bench scripting module on any Linux operating system like Ubuntu. However, today we'll take the easiest and most flexible route by installing ERP Next in a Docker environment. We'll use a pwd.yml docker compose file to deploy the software. Simply copy the script and paste it into the stack. I'm using Portainer to manage the Docker stack for this demonstration. In the script, you'll notice multiple containers being installed for ERP Next. You can customize settings such as the database password, port numbers, and other environment variables as needed. Once deployed, the stack will automatically create 11 containers, each configured for different aspects of ERP Next. To access the software, click on the front end container, typically available on port 8080. As you can see, ERP Next is ready for its first run. The default username is administrator and the password is admin. Begin by setting your language, country, time zone, and currency. Next, set your password and email ID. Then proceed to configure your chart of accounts and financial year settings according to your country. For this demo, I'll use the sample data provided to help you better understand the software. Now we're inside the ERP Next interface. In the top right corner, you'll find the search function along with help documentation. The user interface is clean and intuitive, making it easy to navigate. Additionally, you'll have access to detailed documentation and video tutorials to guide you through the software's workflow. In the left-hand menu, you'll find modules for accounting, buying, selling, stock, asset management, CRM, support, projects, and more, covering all your business needs. Each module includes sections for activities, settings, and reports, along with tutorial videos to help you understand each feature. In the accounting module, you can create sales and purchase invoices, all while enjoying a customizable dashboard. The stock module allows you to manage your inventory efficiently, while the project and support modules help you stay on top of tasks and customer inquiries. User management is straightforward, allowing you to create multiple users and groups with tailored permissions. ERP Next also offers a built-in website builder to help your organization engage with customers online. The software's CRM system makes managing customer relationships seamless. In the settings menu, you can configure master and global settings to align with your organization's needs. ERP Next integrates effortlessly with other tools like Google, AWS, Slack, and more. 
You can set up automated backups to the cloud and enable SMS alerts for employees and customers. Additionally, the software lets you build and customize forms, doc types, and workflows to match your specific processes. Overall, ERP Next is a versatile and powerful tool that can be tailored to fit your company's workflow perfectly. If you'd like a more detailed video on any aspect of ERP Next, let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Installer Guru for more tech tips and tutorials.